Hello, welcome to Flaunt Your Sights Website Review Wednesday. This week's review is of Jody Red House Photography in London. Uh, so, right off, uh, when we come to the site here, we actually get a pop-up. If you're, I think, a, a first-time viewer, you get this pop-up that pops right up in your face. Now, I'm turned off to the site already. Now, I know there's tons of marketers out there that believe in pop-ups, but I'm really not one of them. Yes, they're, they're effective at getting people to sign up, but they ruin the experience of the website for most visitors. Um, it gets in the way of the information people are really trying to seek. And really, they're just plain annoying. Um, recently, I did a poll on a Facebook group of online marketers, and I asked them to think from their own perspective as a web surfer, not as a marketer. I asked them two questions. Pop-ups, do you like them or do you hate them? And the second question was, do they reduce the trust you have for a brand? Like, consider if Apple were to use pop-ups on their site all of a sudden, would your trust in Apple be diminished? Now about 100 or so people responded. N approximately 95% of the people responded that they hate, absolutely hated them, especially when it came up immediately, like yours does here. Um, and about 20% or so said that their trust is impacted by pop-ups. Uh, so yes, they can be effective, but yours is set up on your homepage and designed to pop up right away, boom with a very tiny, you have to look way up here and it's really small button that says close, it's hard to see. So you may be getting signups, uh, but it's a bit like a coercion tactic. Uh, give us your email address or you can't check out our site. Um, this is really the opposite of what you wanna be doing to obtain clients. Uh, I would, however, be interested in hearing what your results are from having the sign up, the pop up there, and what engagement is like with you, your your web your website, your business, all that afterwards. I'm also wondering when people do get through your funnel process, what kind of clients you end up with. Uh, it's it'd be a nice to track all that and know which clients you got with this method and what you know what they're like. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing on the group, I think it'd be very valuable. I'm also interested in what your process is. Like, are you uh, emailing them often? What your, what your emails are? Uh, any open rate, click-through rates you're willing to share? Again, I think it'd be very beneficial. So, like I said, they can be effective, but at what cost? Um, you know, the alternative is less invasive, uh, having it on blog posts only, uh, maybe have it pop up after 30 seconds or uh, maybe even a slide in from the bottom and the side. Uh, you know, that, that'd be really interesting to, you know, see w what types of clients you're getting, uh, effectiveness at that point. So uh, once you're past that though, the site's beautiful. I love this really bold image here. Um, it's cute with the little girl in the field. It's bold, like I said. Um, I would consider using a different font, something a little easier to read. And I wouldn't necessarily use your logo in both places. Maybe just eliminate this one and have this one a little bit bolder so you could read what it is there. Uh, this one's uh, easier to read because it's got the dark background. Um, if you use this one, just punch up the, the font uh, weight on that and I think you'd be good. Um, and then on the subsequent pages, I think you could go back to using this one if you uh, just use the welcome to. I think that'd be a, a, a pretty decent way to go. I do like the content under the photo. Um, it, it explains what you do, where you are, which really 90% of the photographers don't do in the first place. So consider yourself in the elite rankings already. Um, I would capitalize that L. And um, then this hello thing is cool, but I saw it's part of a bigger thing in your about uh, page. So I'd maybe have something that says learn more about Jody. And then, and then you know, there's a link here already to it, but uh, I think more people would be inclined to click on it. Alternatively, you can, you can take your photo or another photo and have that up in here with uh, something like uh, learn more about Jody.
I think that'd be really good too. It'd tie this information together with you uh, with it, and makes that connection right away. Um, now, I know it's super cool to have photos of you looking away or looking down or something like that, but I really do uh, think a, using a photo of you looking right into the lens uh, establishes immediate connection and trust. So uh, grab a fellow photographer, do a proper headshot, one that you know you connect into the lens really good. People will feel even more connected to you right away. Uh, the the images that I photograph section down here, this is this is your your services. This is what you should really have up at the top. It, it should be your menu. It should be your main navigation. Uh, that main navigation should tell people what you do so they can go to those pages and get information. Don't bury the lead. So families, kids, couples, commercial, all that should be up in here. Um, I'll get into it a little bit more, uh, a little bit deeper, but uh, all that should be up in your menu here, your menu navigation. Uh, now let's go ahead and go to Meet Jody. It's you know, the about is really really cute. Um, I think you're you're going to attract a certain clientele just because you have this here. You're going to get that hipster kind of young crowd that's you know into the designy type of you know hand written thing. Only my only uh, concern would be that there is no content on this page. It's just one large graphic. Um, so there's really you know if if we did a search on uh, Jody Redhouse, this page wouldn't show up uh, because there's there's nothing. Well, I mean, there's that, but there's nothing. There's no other content on this page, so that would be my only one uh, downside to these big infographic or these big about graphics. Uh, now the info page here. So you have uh, these these groups of uh, um, approach, pricing, products, uh, FAQs. So I think these. Like I said uh, on the on the home page, with the the things that you shoot, um, I think those should be up here, and you should rearrange the the information here. So instead of uh, info and approach pricing products FAQs, change it up so that you have families and kids, couples and commercial, and then each of those pages have that that information that you have here, but specific to each uh, uh, vertical that you have. So with the families, you would have approach, pricing, products, and then you would have couples, approach, pricing, products, FAQs, but not, not sub-menus. They would actually be information inside the pages. If you look at any of the websites that I do, you'll see a lot of that going on. Um, and, and if you look at any of the, the past reviews, I, I talk about that a lot. It, it cleans up the organization of the information and it's easier for people to, uh, it, it just makes sense to people to go to what they need. Uh, so if they're a commercial client, they're not going to sift through um, information on the approach about you know couples and um, and, and, and babies, right? So if your commercial work is all the way down here, they have to sift all the way through that information before they get down to that commercial work. So if you sort it out in your menu where it says commercial, then your commercial clients can go right there. Um, it's also, it also a better method for ranking for search engines because it allows you to have more of the right keywords on one page and that's the page that you'll want to rank. And What's nice about that is that all that content with the keywords can be very naturally written on pages like that. So the happy clients, the reviews page is great. I love having social proof. It's, it's outstanding. Uh, once again though, the, the one problem here is that this page isn't searchable because all of these are uh, photos and the text that's on here isn't text, it's uh, graphic. So the page is not searchable. Um, so if someone did a search for London Photography Reviews, you'll never come up in the results. Um, but you have a lot of reviews here. So you could, you could possibly rank for that keyword if you turn this page into actual text. On the blog, so the blog seems like a lot of self-promotional uh, posts. 
Uh, you could do this, but I'd offer uh, more informational types of uh, posts versus the promotional ones. Um, then every once in a while throw out a promotion. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk calls this jab, 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 right hook, right? Give value, give value, give value. Then throw out an offer that they'll like. Um, blog posts that are just promotion, uh, promotion, you know, promotion. Well, this is, you know, do you speak South African? That'd be Afrikaans, right? Um, then uh, like a Father's Day offer, right? So here's more self-promotion. Um, uh, blog posts that are like that are, 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 they tend to get a little boring and spammy after a while, right? And people tend to not pay attention. So um, I, I do informational type of blog posts um, and then your shoots, you know, show your shoots. Uh, where are you photographing? They don't have to be like Mayfield Lavender mini sessions, right? This could be a blog post that's not uh, promotional but it would still get people interested in saying, hey, can I photograph there too? Versus something like, uh, you know, like, hey, we're, we got these mini sessions. Um, maybe you do a whole series of blog posts and then offer the mini sessions, right? Because people might be interested after two or three of these shoots that you post. Um, that would also be a good thing to throw in the email. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was your mobile solution, which you don't really have right now. Um, I looked at this on, the, on my iPhone. And what I'm seeing is with photographer sites, mobile is around 20 to 50 per, 20 to 25 percent of their traffic. Um, it, it might be a little bit more in Europe, um, but I, I've, I've seen around 20 to 25 percent in, in England for sure. Um, and here in the states and, and you have your your mobile solution turned off currently which is completely understandable because pro photos mobile solution is very terrible um, however just a couple months ago google put out an algorithm change that removes you from mobile search if your site isn't um, isn't responsive or mobile friendly so that's a potential 20 to 25 percent less search traffic that you're that you're getting now, um, and that's a big deal. Uh, so your strategy really should be to either use Profoto's mobile solution uh, to get a theme that is responsive, or to hire a designer developer to create a custom theme for you. Um, you really want to do that as soon as possible. So uh, that's what I got. I hope all this was helpful to you, um, and I I'm excited to hear what kind of statistics you have with uh, with you and your site and how you have things set up now. Uh, so thanks so much for participating. And again, I hope this was all very helpful.